Today, we're going to take you on an adventure. We're going to visit three local artists. We're going to hear their story, see their artwork. I can't wait. Let's go. So we're in North Sydney. It's a concrete jungle. And you wouldn't even know that this place exists or that it's here. This is Wendy's Secret Garden. Let's go have a look. You wouldn't even believe that we're actually here in Sydney. I mean, this place is magical. But just from here, I can see the Harbour Bridge and I can also see Luna Park just over there. It's beautiful. Have a look. Welcome to Scratch Art Studio. I can't wait to introduce you to the beautiful resident artist and owner, Carmel. Let's go inside and have a look. my works here there's a few of us there's, there's, um, there's six studios all together so it's a small complex um, very relaxed very simple open studios you can see the lighting is really beautiful and we're located in Marrickville which is the middle of a industrial creative space a very crucially important industrial creative space in Sydney I have a really fun exercise that people have never ever drawn before so follow me through here perfect after you saw Drawing is actually a natural ability that everyone has, so long as you're very relaxed. So, one of my exercises, I use this, a metronome, which is um, what musicians use to keep beat when they're playing the piano. So, what I do is I have all my students lined up with paper and charcoal, and then I set this going to a certain speed. And I'm not going to tell you any more about the exercise, but I promise you it's really fun. I love that. And then off it goes, then we work in rhythm with the metronome, with charcoal and paper. I absolutely love that. Yeah, it just reminded me, I feel like I want to dance and paint at the same time. <laughs> just outside the studio of Black Douglas, we're about to see some of the beautiful artwork that he has. Let's go and have a look. Hello! Hey, how you going? Hi, man. Welcome. Thank you so much for having us here at your studio. Hey, yeah, you're welcome. It's a um, pleasure. Great to have you and the viewers here. Uh, to studio number five, like Douglas's hang now. And how did it all begin? Art for me began, painting began when I just stumbled in on a beautiful artist from Wollongong named Kevin Butler, an Aboriginal artist. and. He was on a residency at uh, the Australian Museum. I was a graphic designer on a project called the Indigenous Australians Exhibition. And um, I just thought it was way cooler to be paid as a visual artist on a residency um, than it was to be sitting behind a Mac for the rest of my life. So I did message. What would you like to say to the viewers for the tour for next week? Um, don't let the virus get you down. Pick up a brush, mix your paint. Um, if you've got no paint, go into your garden, get some ochre, get some rocks, grind them up old school way and just um, steal your kids' cartridge paper and the sky's the limit. Beautiful. Thank you so much for your time. Thank and you. We'll see you next week. Just about to see Matteo, the resident owner artist at this beautiful studio. My paintings are, um, are more about uh, human condition most, uh, most of the time uh, because I, I find that we don't speak enough actually about human con condition in arts and they focus on, uh, on more on uh, portrait and figures in general and um, well, I, I try to depict and, uh, and, and bring you in a, in a dark side, I always like to, to, to call it, where uh, we don't really show normally, but, but, but it's present in everyday life. Great, I look forward to seeing you on the Art Sydney tour, guys. See you soon.